guys, ADHD here. In today's video is actually a request you guys have suggested many a times, but most of you guys said it as a joke, and that is Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and playing cards. A lot of you guys are requesting it because obviously cards can only do so much, they're really flimsy paper, and today I'm going to be trying to modify these and actually just using them as regular cards. I've been practicing a little bit with throwing cards, and I have a good skill set, I guess you could say. I'm not perfect, I'm not great, but I'm decent at it, but in order to kind of compensate for my lack of throwing card skill, I'm also going to be modifying some cards and making them as dangerous as I possibly can. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, a lot of stuff is tested on. Like I said, it's going to be Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and regular playing cards. But anyway, let's get started. All right, guys. So right here are regular Pokemon cards. You've seen these a hundred times. These are donated by Parker, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and basically, what we're going to be doing is showing you guys these can be thrown too. Like I said, I don't have the proper technique every time to throw cards. I'll be throwing the way I throw them, but I know there's better ways to throw them, but this is just the way I can do it. So we're going to be trying to see what we can do with exactly just regular cards, and then we'll be upgrading them to see what we can do next. First up is a balloon. You know, a balloon's not the most, you know, indestructible thing, but still, it's a card, a flimsy card. So, here it goes. What the fuck? Tip number two. <laughs> it's all about technique. Technique. <laughs> I think it's that balloon. Here it goes. Mojo's card, I mean. Indestructible. <laughs> here it goes. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool for a freaking Pokemon card, guys. It's really flimsy. That's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> Next thing I want to try with the cards, I really want to do this. I saw a guy in line who put a candle out with a throwing card, and I want to see if I can do that. <laughs> this is fucking going to be hard, dude. It went under it. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, oh what the <laughs> I put it out. <laughs> <laughs> By direct impact. <laughs> I don't feel like it's possible, dude. Let me try this candle. Okay, guys. I like how you got like a grand candle <laughs> from, from compared to that tin, tin right, foil guys. one. So the last guy I saw do it, he did it on a candle like this. I'm thinking maybe because that one has like a bowl around it. It's a lot harder, so. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna sweat and shit that. Alright. I'm more confident about this one, right? Oh! Let's try! I told you it wasn't shit. me, it was this fucking candle! Because guys, this is like covered in a bowl, so when I'm hitting it, it's just going over it. I knew, I was like, there's no way I'm this inaccurate at hitting this thing. Alright, do it again. Maybe it's a fluke. Almost. Okay, maybe the first one was a little bit. <laughs> I think I did get lucky the first time. Oh! There you go! Yes! Okay, well, after my candle took a shit ton of damage. Holy shit! <laughs> that was fucking harder than it looks, guys. I throw knives consistently. I'm really good at, like, you know, interesting videos. I'm really good at my accuracy. This is hard. I give full respect to card throwers. That is genuinely difficult. <gasps> I'm fucking sweating and shit. God damn, that was hard. <laughs> that was a fucking challenge. <laughs> How the fuck does Yugi do that shit? Fucking a dark magician. <laughs> Throws that shit out like fucking goddamn nothing. Alright guys, so this is what happens when you try to put a candle out. <laughs> this is gonna be a pain in the ass. And the worst thing are these cards are like fucking those like like a quarter off the ground. Like you can't fucking... <laughs> yeah, like... Obviously I'm not the best card thrower, so I'm gonna be making my own. They're a little easier to throw and they'll do a lot more damage. So, need some cards for that. So I have this Pokemon tin. I'm gonna make some Pokemon cards. And Barker brought some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He's gonna be helping me out with those. And we're gonna be starting doing this. I'm gonna open these up for you guys and see if we get any cool cards. Alright guys, so right here we have the Venusaur card. I'm gonna save this one. And if anybody wants that, maybe it plays Pokemon Online, you can have that. I don't really want to ruin that one, so I'm gonna keep that there. Oh, it comes with the evolution packs. Oh shoot, I don't know what that means, but... Oh, these are the old school cards! Yeah, the old school cards. Wow, okay guys, I thought this was gonna be a video where I opened the cards and I wouldn't know shit about any of the new cards, but these are all old school cards, I know what these are. So here's Ponyta, these are... Oh, dude, these are so OG. Dude. Oh, shit, a Mewtwo! It's not holographic or anything, but that's pretty dope, I'm gonna put that aside. Yeah, the OG Mewtwo. Ratatata, Voltor. Ooh! Nice! Nothing. <laughs> Nothing good. The last pack. Hopefully this has a good card because we didn't get any like crazy cards. Oh, Hopefully. we got the Venus X. Yeah. <laughs> That's a promo card. It came with it. Yeah. I almost guaranteed this card. <laughs> Come on, at least a holographic. Come on. What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we have cards now. I'm gonna be using those for the video, but I also bought a second pin. If you guys want to win this, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. 
and hit the bell on the notification. So become part of the notification squad, leave a comment down below, like the video, and I'll be giving it away to one of you random people in the comments. It's a Mew 210, and obviously I have bad luck with it. Hopefully you have better luck with this. So anyway, like I said, leave a comment, and I'll <laughs> Leave a comment and I'll pick somebody random. Alright guys, so obviously I'm about the best card throw as you just saw. So I'm going to make you my own cards. They're a little bit easier for me to throw. And I'm going to be using Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards. And I also have some other custom cards that are playing cards. I think they're going to be really awesome. So we're going to get into that right now. Build them and I'll show you guys what's next. Alright guys, so right here, this is my deck that I made. Got the blue eyes white dragon on the front. This is a whole deck of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is for if you have a duel at three. We have to take down the Akatsuki at six. <laughs> <laughs> we have these Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Ninja Stars. They are freaking dope. Basically what it is, I can't explain exactly how they're made because I don't want anybody to try and replicate this, but basically it's several cards within the blaze within the center. So I'm hopefully these work well. And then we have these for our playing cards. For our playing cards, we have Metal Ace of Spades cards. These are metal, and I think they're going to be really cool to throw. And this is 1.0, guys. If you guys want a CTI 2.0, let me know down below. And I can try and see. I know a guy that can make me steel ones that have sharp ends. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I can get them made. And like I said, they're playing cards just like this. These are metal ones, but those ones are sharpened. But I think this is going to do a lot of damage, too. But here we go. All right, guys. So as you saw from my first experience, I'm not very good at throwing cards to pop a balloon. It doesn't work very well for me. So, for people like me who can't throw cards, we gotta make our own cards. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna go through pretty easy. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> or you could fucking miss and hit the wall. And then you. Try number two. Okay, here it goes again. <laughs> That's a lot easier. <laughs> cards guys <laughs> they are deadly Pokemon cards now I'm gonna take my whole deck outside and alright guys so now we're gonna see exactly how much damage these trading cards do I'm pretty excited because you imagine showing up to a duel and then someone starts talking shit and you're just like boom motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> did you get it oh you yeah. did <laughs> that's a big ass slice for a card <laughs> for a card yeah it's like, I mean there's not a lot of weight behind these guys that's pretty impressive honestly can you imagine that dude some some dude behind you just talking shit in the middle of your duel and just <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who we got? Who we got? Right here we got Mystic Elf. Need you. Oh, holy crap! And Mystic she Elf is as mystic as they say. God damn, she got some game. Oh my god. Dude, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Holy crap. Dude, Yu-Gi has so much heart. I'm just... That's crazy. She only has like fucking four stars, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon versus the new Jug. Here it goes. Serve me well. Oh, oh holy crap! Oh my god! Blue eyes, ultimate dragon, all them stars for all that damage. <laughs> holy crap, dude! That's a clean slice. My god! To dude. the neck, dude. That'd be your fucking. That's like all the blood that he drew. <laughs> oh, blue eyes is fucking good, dude. He's he's devastating. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's, oh, there you oh, go. There's two of them. There you go, guys. Pokemon, ninja stars, and Yu-Gi-Oh, ninja stars. <laughs> God, dude, I can't believe these are, well, I can't believe these are child cards. These are, these are, <laughs> these are fucking Pokemon cards. That's insane, dude. That's sticking into fruit and Because there's not a lot of weight on these guys. That's why I didn't think it was going to do that well. I wasn't even sure if it was going to work. All right, we're throwing full sets from distance, from range. Now that I know they have that range, you know? Got my whole deck ready to take someone out. If I lose, I never really lose. All right. Dude, that's what? sick. These are. Can you imagine this? Showing up to a battle in Midir, throwing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> this is so sick. Dude, oh those things can God. glide. These are fucking sick, dude. dude. It's stuck in the goddamn wood. It's stuck in the fence. Dude, Every single this, one of them stuck. This is my new, one of my probably top favorite, most dangerous videos. This is so fucking dude, fun. Look at that one. It's so look how deep it is in the wood. Look at that dew blade. I have to be biased for the Blue Eyes Ultimate. Look at him. Dude, the Blue Eyes Ultimate is probably the best card here. It's a good thing I have multiple of them. Ooh, dude, those things glide so well. They really do. I think the, how light they are actually makes for the distance to go further. Oh, oh my god. You got one more hit for it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, shit. Dude, they're sticking everywhere. They're Everyone sticking everywhere. They're sticking into anything. Every single one of those stuck. Everyone, yeah. Every single one. I didn't think, the, I genuinely did not think they were going to be this freaking good. 
All right, guys, so right here are the metal playing cards. These are the things I'm most excited for because they have a lot of weight on them. I think they're gonna do a lot of damage, so we're gonna be testing these out. First, I'm gonna test them out on this blo uh, this block right here. So that, those blocks, as a guy, I throw throwing knives, guys, like I said, that's hard to get through for most stuff. So this will kind of give me an idea of how much power they have on them. Oh! Nice! Holy crap, dude. I'm telling you guys, this is not easy to punch through. This is a firm, firm surface. The fact that it got in there is pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, going for the fucking melon this time. Oh, oh my god! Holy crap! The whole thing is in there! Oh my god! Dude, you really like that one spot. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, some of them are it, dude. No, <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Holy crap! How many I'm, are in there? There's a few in there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it went, guys. It was in. We never, we never even had a skull crusher go through a melon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go for two at once, like Gambit. Oh no! Holy crap, dude! One of them, the other one sank in. Three at once, see what happens. Three at once. Okay, I three. cannot believe that went all the way to your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get all three in the same spot? Where'd you, wait, what happened? Holy shit! Dude, it went all the way through. It went from here all the way to the back. That's, wait, is that two of them? We That's have never had it, and most dangerous series, nothing has gone all the way through. That's incredible. All right, guys, so right over there, we have a can of hairspray. I'm going to attempt to throw these into that hairspray can, at least one of them. And that's made out of metal, so there should be no doubt at this point that could definitely break flesh. <laughs> Shock. So, what if it dents it? What, what would you say? Would if it dents it, probably a really heavy bruise. Heavy bruise, yeah. Oh! Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright guys, for the longest time doing throwing knives, the zingbos, different things, I have asked Josh a hundred times, jokingly, if he would let me do it with an apple on top of his head and see if I could hit the apple. Every time he says no, of course. This is a joke, I wouldn't really do that. But today we're going to see what would happen if I really did try it on Josh. We're putting this apple on top of Jeff's head and we're going to pretend it's Josh and see if I actually could hit the apple off Josh's head without like, hurting him. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you, you killed Josh! You killed Josh! I can do it again. I can do it again. <laughs> you killed Josh! He's bleeding Maybe it's out. a smart thing we never did. <laughs> I'm, gonna out his neck. I'm gonna cut this out the video so Josh doesn't see it. <laughs> Alright, this time I got it for sure. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh my God. Dude, that was a nice shot. Holy crap, the card went clean through it. Joshua, see, I wouldn't kill you. You let me do it. You would be fine. Look at him, he's perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, that is actually it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell button, next subscribe button, and that'll let you know whenever a new video is posted so you do not miss it. I highly recommend it, and I would really appreciate it. If you hit the like button, that'd be awesome, too. If you guys could share the video with at least one friend, that would also be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do for 2.0, if you even want to see 2.0, or anything like that, leave it down below. And remember, I'm going to pick a winner for the Pokemon Tin Can probably the next three or four days. I'll just comment on the person, so make sure you're checking your comments. I'll check on whatever, I'll, I'll comment on your comment. But anyway, guys, that's actually it. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.